Now the beast of war had given his command, and the skies over England rang to the echo with the thundering hoofbeats of the apocalyptic horsemen. With unparalleled fury, the Luftwaffe attacked. Death and devastation were everywhere. At Southampton, the dock employees worked with a frenzied energy to avert total disaster threatened by the destruction of their ARP control. Direct hits on a flour mill and a cold storage depot proved catastrophic. The ensuing fire burned for weeks, consuming a month's rations of meat and fats for the whole of southern England. The farmers' vain attempts to save them were seriously hampered by a sea of molten butter, which spread ankle-deep all over the dock area, rendering the drains useless. The heat of the fires raging was so great that much of the water from the hoses turned to steam before it reached the actual fires. When at last they did subside, the ruined shells of warehouses, offices and rolling stock remained everywhere. Yet another victim of Nazi villainy had been sacrificed. But the docks could take it, like the rest of the Blitz towns of Britain, and so Southampton smouldered on. Meanwhile, the dock workers remain still very much alive. Colonel Moore Brabazon, then Minister of Transport, came to Southampton to congratulate the Southern's ARP squads on their laudable efforts and efficiency.